What's up y'all, Jacob here. Today we're gonna be checking out the cinematic bundle from UJAM. It's an awesome selection of four plugins, including one called Strings, which has sounds designed by Hans Zimmer himself. Let's start out with strings. You have three basic sections here, and actually you'll find all these plugins are really similar, including the drum plugins. So you have phrases, which you can change here with the key switches. You can also change the bass note of the loop of the phrase that you're playing. And then you of course have the phrase range, which is where you're actually sounding the note. You're triggering that phrase. You can actually transition or crossfade between the higher strings and the lower strings with the pitch bend. Like so. And then you can also control the dynamics of the phrase using the mod wheel. You can see on either side you have a way to turn the engine off for both low and high strings and you have certain settings for each one on each side. But this middle one right here is really cool. So let me find a setting and then I'm going to turn up the finisher knob. Let's check it out. Just to give you a feel of some of the range of the plugin, let's check out some of the other factory presets. Let's see what this one's like. Let's try another one just for fun. So when it's actually tracking your chords too, I don't know if you noticed that, but here you can see the chord symbol you're playing. The next plugin we're going to check out is Carbon, which is a virtual guitarist plugin. Carbon is awesome for getting some insane, grungy, dirty, metal style, just hard rock guitar riffs. You also get a finisher knob in this plugin. change the condition. Here's lobotomized. <laughs> so awesome. Severity, which you can see is kind of designed almost like a hot and cold kind of knob. Um, and you can probably guess what it does. So essentially it's adding distortion. It's blowing up the gain and making it dirtier and grungier. The other thing I want to point down here is the layer feature, which I really love. So right now it's on Quadro. So if you're listening on some type of stereo system or headphones, you'll be able to hear that it's spread out and you can also hear it layered. So it sounds like someone went in a studio and overdubbed several guitars and then panned it wide. If we go to single, now we're gonna be back center. So it's just coming through the center. If we do double, now you can hear it sounds like that overdubbed layered sound with it spread out. If we do triple, now there's three, and now quadro. 
and then you can change that layer over here. Again, it's good to remember that you can change any of these plugins, any of these instruments, to instrument mode rather than player. So the player gives you these phrases, but then you can go to instrument and just play it like an instrument. The next plugin we're going to talk about is Neo, which is an FX plugin. Here's the dry carbon sound. And now we're going to add Neo. And you get several different presets, of course. Of different categories, spread. I can see an awesome effect with automating these types of things. That could work great, like leading up to a drop or the bass coming in or something like that. So you'll see you always get your main mix in the middle and then you get four knobs here that change depending on the preset you're on. The last one is called Nemesis, which is a beat making plugin. It's got some great phrases and loops, but you can play it as an instrument as well. You have instrument style over here to the right, and you have different kit presets. You can change the mix. The words they use are very self-explanatory and easy to understand. Uh, you know, things like retro, doom, smack. These are words that give you an emotional response and make you think of a sound. So if I want something to be evil, well, I know that's going to be kind of crazy and demented and maybe distorted. Something called vibes, it's probably a little chiller. Something really nice over here is called beat intensity, which essentially controls the transience of the beat. It'll make it punchier or less punchy. And then style over here is where you have all these different phrases that you can pick from. In the style section, you'll see that you have two levels. You have the top, which are the black keys that give you intros, fills, endings, and breakdowns. And then on the white keys, you get verses, choruses, spectacles, and to stop whatever you're playing. It'll just stop the phrase on that top key. Down here you get control over the bass drum and you can change presets to get different sounds. In the kit section you get a snare and kick crossfade.
This slider lets you fade between pressurize and hypercharge. Hypercharge sounds like a bit crusher, makes it a damage sound. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to comment if you've got any questions about these plugins. Like, subscribe, click here for more videos like this one, and go to sweetwater.com for all of your music instrument and pro audio needs.